Welcome back to my channel. I'm Caroline, the original Dragon Lady. This video is about dragon and colour. I get so many questions about dragons and their colours. for The colours of their bodies, the colours of their eyes. What does this mean? What does that mean? So I'm going to go a little way to explaining it today. But colour is very subjective. So depending on what colour means to you and what co and how colour makes you feel will depend on how you feel about the dragons and what colours they're showing up with, uh, how they're showing up for you. I hope that made sense. What I have done in my book, How to the Dragons, um, it's actually its second anniversary this month. It's been out two years this month. How cool is that? In chapter, let me just have a quick look, I can't remember what chapter it's in. Um... In chapter five, there's a whole section on dragons and colour. So I wrote about it um, in here quite extensively. I wrote in my friend Andrea, who's a colour, does a lot with colour and crystals, because uh, I needed a, a deeper take on colour, because I didn't know all the answers. I didn't know what I know about colour. So anyway, dragons and colours. So when I first met dragons, when they first showed up to me, they were always dual coloured. They had one colour running across the top of their head and down the top, you know, the tip of their tail. And the other colour was going from under their chin and under their bellies and through their, through under their legs and whatnot. And there were, and there were two distinct colours. And what I came to understand eventually, I thought, because you know, I was getting so many questions, why am I seeing two coloured dragons? Why are they, two, why are they got two colours, one top, one bottom? Why are they this? Why are they that? And eventually, because I'd scratched my head over this for quite a long time, eventually I asked the dragons, that is my way. And what they said to me is that the colour that's running across the top of them is, because they're, they're representative of us in many ways. So they're like a reflection or a mirror of us. And so the colours on the top of the dragon is your conscious mind. And the colour that is underneath is your unconscious mind. So, of course, this was a really big lesson for me because I then became, I then came to understand how very interconnected we are with our dragons, how closely they are connected to us and our work. But also, it, it goes so much deeper than that. It comes into our inner power. And I've come to call this our inner dragon. So this is going to be a bit of a convoluted one. So please bear with me <laughs> if you can bear to stay with me on, on this. So the dragons teach us to stop externalising. Because we all are always looking for answers externally from of ourselves. So we, we want to know what our guides want us to know. You know what do our guides want us to do? What, do? what does spirit want me to do? Spirit wants me to do this, but spirit needs to make it happen. What do my dragons want me to know? What do my dragons want me to do? Actually, none of that is relevant. Your dragons actually want you to come within, connect with that innate power. I call it your dragon power. For you, at what's sitting at your deepest truth that you would like to do? Hence the dragons being two colours. So if they're, let's go for example, if they're, say they're red across the top and down their backs, what does red mean to you? So this is your, bearing in mind, this is your conscious mind. So they're reflecting back to you, mirroring back to you, your conscious mind. So if they're red, for example, across the top, does that shout to you energy, passion, um, anger, frustration, that type of thing? So where, where is your energy sitting at? And this is where you then, the dragons guide us to come inwards and to ask ourselves, that's the colour I'm seeing my dragon to be on the top. So what's that reflecting back at me? What are my real inner feelings under that? Now, am I a, a grumpy, angry, irritable person? What do I need to heal and address with that? 
have I got loads of energy and passion that I'm and I'm trying to get something created and out into the world? Answer those, you know, look at look into those questions, look into those feelings. Now, if for example there may be green underneath. So this is your unconscious mind or your subconscious mind. So are you looking for peace, calm and tranquility? Are you a healer? Is it encouraging you more to come into your heart? Do you need to be more heart centred, more open hearted? Is there work for you to do to bring your unconscious to the conscious, which is, again, a lot of the work the dragons talk about? So they guide us always to go inwards. They never, in my experience, they never tell you what to do unless, unless you're being a, unless you are being given a dragon slap, and then you'll be told to stop being so bloody stupid, and you know do whatever it is you need to do. I normally get out of your own way, and stop self sabotaging, which is a common thing that we do, and the dragons like to give us a slap over. Um, so it's about bringing your unconscious to the conscious. And fully acknowledging also what you're feeling and how you're feeling and what you're thinking. So that's why we often have dragons that are two colours, um, particularly when you first start working with dragons. Mine have all shifted down to single colours. So I've done, <laughs> it feels like eons of work with them. So mine's have all shifted down into sort of one colour. Because the dragons, as you heal, grow and develop, your dragons will change colour with you. So although in a previous video I was talking about guides, teachers, healers and so on, and guardians. I'll put a link below for you for that one if you've missed it. Um, although the guardian doesn't change and the other guides and the other dragons can change, they can also change colour. So as you grow, they will grow with you and their colours will shift with you. So it's really good if you if you are able to see, because not everyone can see. Like I'm a claircognizant. I don't see particularly well. So I know what colour my dragons are without necessarily visually always seeing them really clearly. So it's getting to know what your dragon's colours are. And if they shift, what they're shifting into. And so in, in here is a really, really good reference to colour and how to understand it on a deeper level and what the dragons are trying to convey to you. The other thing that happens is that on occasions you get dragons that are like tricolour, so they're three colours. So I do wonder, is the third colour that you're seeing a sort of a spiritual connection? You don't get that many tricolour dragons. I've had a few over the years that people have said to me, oh, my dragon's three colours. So my question there would be, OK, so what are the three colours? What does each one mean to you? And is one of them more about maybe a spiritual path? So that's something to think about. And the other thing that happens is that I have questions about do dragons have feathers? I personally haven't experienced dragons and feathers, but it doesn't mean that they can't have feathers. I tend to think of... If I'm thinking feathers, I tend to think phoenix or um, angelics. But it, you know, it doesn't, you know, if, you, if your dragon has feathers, then your dragon has feathers. It doesn't matter. It's however they show up to you. So I'd like to know uh, what colour dragons you've got. Have they changed? Have they changed colour for you? And how you've got, oh, no, any, yeah, anything, any sort of thoughts, observations you've got about dragons and colours. And if you've got the book, my book, How to Live with Dragons, um, if you found that section on colour really useful. Anyway, I'll love you and leave you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.